when you do um, African Americans uh, DNA, what kind of things do you find? When we trace the genetic ancestry of African Americans, we find so many different things. Uh, it's important to realize that African ancestry doesn't look at a person's entire genetics. We only look at the genetics, the ancestry of one branch of the family tree. So, for example, you know that your grandmother's mother was thought to be one thing, and then the family folklore sort of was off and you got a redirection as to what it was. So we would trace the ancestry of that one branch. So you, your father, his mother, her mother, her mother, all the way back. When we trace those maternal lines, we find African results 92% of the time. So if 10 people take the test, nine are gonna come back with African results. One is gonna come back either European or Native American or Middle Eastern or Asian. But it, that person will not have African roots on that one branch of the tree. Doesn't matter what you look like, skin color doesn't determine what the ancestry is on one branch of the tree. We also look at paternal ancestry, father to father to father to father. And when we do those analyses, and those are of black men because you have to be a man to take that test, we find African results only 65% of the time. And then the other 35% of the time, the results generally come back European. How often do you find Native American results in African Americans? We don't find Native American results among African Americans very often at all. In fact, when we do find it, it tends to be on the maternal line. And in those instances, it's only about 2% of the people that take our tests that go back to Native American roots. That's a mythology that runs rampant throughout our community. And I think that part of the reason people romanticize having Native American ancestry is because they feel more comfortable with that rather than having European ancestry. You know, they, they tend to say, well, my great-great-grandmother's hair was straight and long and her nose looked like this and her skin was this color. But that came, in most cases, from white people. It didn't come from Native American people. So there's so much pain that we carry as a result of the period of slavery in the Americas that and then so much pain that we carry post-slavery uh, as a result of the treatment that we face by white folks, that we don't want to claim any ancestry that might go back to Europe. But the reality is the average African-American is 75% African, 25% European. So on average, you don't see any Native American ancestry in black folks. Have you guys ever done any DNA testing on mummies? Because that's another thing that comes up. A lot of African Americans believe that their ancestors come from Egypt. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We've never done any DNA testing on mummies. However, people have done DNA testing on e people from Egypt, people living in Egypt today, descendants of people who are Egyptians. And we know from history that many West African populations are the descendants of Egyptians and Nubians that migrated West. So if you go back far enough in time, you will find that we are the descendants of people who lived in, in Kemet. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, so that's true. Yeah. But it just depends on the time frame that you're talking about. So with our analysis, we look at a period of 500 to 2,000 years. Our Egyptian ancestry would be seen much farther back than that. And I'm actually working with Tony Browder on a 
study where we are doing some DNA testing on people who are Nubian and who are from the Sudan to uh, see what kind of correlations we can make between them and then the Africans that are in our African lineage database.